Hi everyone, moving on to question 15, um, you can probably notice that I wrote the question down instead of doing on the past papers. And um, the reason is because um, those questions on the past papers, they are, I mean, they're not strictly confidential, um, but they belong to the WJEC exam board. Um, so I don't want my video um, to be taken down. So this way, um, the exam board should be okay with this, okay? So this is question 15 in your paper one, 2021 November, it's higher tier and it's in math paper, all right? So the question telling you that solid object is made out of a hemisphere and a cylinder, and the diagram is not drawn to scale, so you're not going to measure anything on there. The radius of the common circular surface is three centimeters. So this bit here is three centimeters and this bit here is also three centimeters. Whatever the information you are given, it's really important that you label that in your diagram, okay? That way you can see the information clearly and you could also plan, it helps you with the next steps of the solution. So the volume of the whole object, is the whole thing there, is equals to 63 pi, and the unit is centimeters cube. Okay, calculate the total height of the object. So this is the total height of the object, okay? So if I just label this bit here, okay, it's x. Now, this height here is made of this height here first. Can you see that? And that is exactly the same as your radius, it's the hemisphere. So that will also be three centimeters, okay? Now, in fact, we actually just need to label this X then. So that would be X, okay? So that's the height of the cylinder is X. Right, so they're telling you the volume of the whole object is 63 pi. So you got to think about this compound object is made of a hemisphere, and a cylinder. So the volume of a cylinder at the volume of the hemisphere equals 63. Now, the volume of a cylinder, if you don't know the formula, look at um, the formula list and look at the bit where they say the volume of a prism, okay? And it will be the area cross section times length, okay? A cylinder is also a prism. So it, with a cross section is the area of a circle. So pi r squared times your length here is actually the height of the cylinder, which is x, so times x, okay? Moving on to the volume of a hemisphere, the volume of a sphere, is four over three pi r cube. So a hemisphere will be half of it. So you're going to write out a half times four over three times pi r cube. And that equals to 63 pi. Okay, just substitute what you know into the equation. And basically all you know here is just the radius. So pi times nine, times x plus that is two, two over three times pi times three to the power of three or three cube, which is 27, that equals to 63 pi, okay? Now I'm going to write it in a way that it looks a bit more presentable. So nine pi x plus 27 divided by three is nine. So 18 pi equals 63 pi. Okay, I'm going to take out the common factor is pi. And this is what you're going to see a lot in a NAT calculator paper is 
you actually don't have to include pi at the end. It, they will cancel out, okay? So that's why it's in that calculator paper. So you take pi outside, you do 9x plus 18 equal to 63 pi, okay? And what you're going to do is 9x plus 18. You can do 63 pi divided by pi, okay? And that is 63. Now, until this stage, it's nice and easy, literally just solving the equation. So 9x equal to 45, x equal to 5. So the height of the cylinder is 5 centimeters, but you want the total height of the object. So remember that this bit here you need, so you're going to do the total height equals 5 plus 3, and that would be eight centimeters and that'll be your answer.